Hi, uh, Dickon here. Um, I'm the bass player of Pagan Altar. Uh, this is Alan Jones's uh, personal guitar from Pagan Altar. I built this for him. Uh, the same name on that I, I built the bass that we play. Um, this was custom built for Al probably about nine years ago. And uh, it's been his main guitar ever since. It's based on a Strat. Uh, Al loves playing Strats, but he likes a uh, a pickup, a, um, a humbucking pickup in the back of it just to give him the extra power and he likes the, to have a, a locking tremolo on it as well. So um, when we were designing this uh, with Alan, he really likes strats, he likes the, the scale length of a strat and the feel of a strat, but he wants it to sound like a Gibson, so he wanted a really powerful humbucker to be put in the bridge, which uh, we put this thing in. It's a, um, a Havoc pickup made by um, Ascot Lockyer of Oil City pickups in the UK and it's really overwhelmed. I think it's probably about 16k or something and it's with the, uh, with the blade pickups and the ceramic magnets. It's really, really powerful and it really suits Alan's style. Just putting the whammy on here. Um, Alan always plays with the whammy, so this is a Schaller um, licensed Floyd Rose uh, that we put on for him and it's just your standard locking tremolo with the lock nuts up there. And these are shallow tuners, and I got the custom ebony tuning buttons to put on to replace the normal chrome buttons that are on there, just to give it an extra little touch of class. This is made from American Swamp Ash. It's a Swamp Ash body, it was a, all one piece of wood. And the neck is maple, and the fretboard is ebony. And the frets uh, that we put on, they're quite narrow gauge <coughs> frets, uh, they're more of a vintage style fret, which Alan likes a lot. And the radius of this, it was a 12 inch radius, so fenders are usually a 9.5 inch radius, but uh, we made this a 12 because we're playing with the, the whammy on there, and they're usually set for about a 12 inch radius, so we went with that one. And the controls here are pretty simple. <clears throat> There's a master volume, master tone, just your pickup selector there. And the switch here is a two position switch, that's for the humbucker, that just gives a series parallel function. Just if he's doing an acoustic intro, we can pop onto the parallel and just get a bit more of a top end musical sound out of the pickup. The middle pickup is a Seymour Duncan uh, vintage pickup. So it's like a split coil thing going on there. And the neck pickup is actually really nice, it's a Seymour Duncan 5.2. And that's got, uh, for the bass strings, it's got Alnico 5 pickups, uh, pole pieces there. And the, for the treble strings, it's got Alnico 2. So um, it sounds a little bit compressed at low volumes, but once you sort of push it into an amp a bit, it sounds really, really nice, really good uh, neck position pickup for a Strat, that sounds really great. So the design that's, uh, that's painted on here is, um, it's a sort of a reworking of the Pagan Altar logo. If you look at the band's logo, it's got, uh, he's known as the Sorcerer the sort of old man with a sort of flowing beard, sort of druid-like looking character. Uh, so we just wanted a way of actually getting it onto the guitar. So uh, I redesigned it slightly and uh, we painted all the guitar white and I just inked this on and then um, mastered off, put black around it and then we sprayed the whole thing with a, with a clear coat. So it's, uh, Alan wanted to have the Pagan Altar logo sort of somewhere on it and this was the idea that uh, he was happy with, that we came up with. Uh, Alan plays um, Daddario XLs uh, the 9 to 42 standard gauge, um, which is might surprise some people because it's quite light, but uh, Alan's got a, a very good precise touch, so the uh, the lighter gauge string works really well for him. Tuning is regular tuning, uh, A440 standard concert pitch. Of course, he's got his custom pick, says Alan Jones, and that's worth a lot of money there to you collectors out there. It's probably worth about 50 cents. And uh, it's not too thick, I think it's probably 0.6 or 0.7. It's um, and then we'll use that until the end is completely rounded off and there's no point left on there at all and say it's just starting to feel nice. And then someone will ask him for it at the end of the gig and he'll give it to them. It'll take him six months to wear it down to a state where he likes it with no point left on it again. And the gear that Alan's using on this tour, we've, uh, for the last couple of gigs, uh, he's just going straight into a Marshall JCM 800. So he's sort of pushing the front end of the amp and all he's got on the floor is one of these. It's just a Necoplex preamp. These are really great, it just gives him a little bit of a boost, a little bit of a push for his, for his solos, but uh, the rest of the time he's a real old school player, he controls his overdrive with the, with the volume on the guitar. So he's pushing the amps overdriven and he'll play rhythm and everything with it slightly backed off and then he can control his gain and his overdrive with the, 
uh, with the volume, with the master volume on the guitar, and then just give himself a bit of a lift on the Echoplex preamp. So if you want to check out more about the band, go onto Facebook and check out official Alan Jones Pagan Altar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.